All right, good morning everybody. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Normally I do wildlife photography. Today I'm going to take and go to a spot, a family property, and I'm going to use my Fisher F19 to see what did my Fisher F2 miss, what did my AT Pro miss, what did my AT Gold miss, and what did my CTX3030 miss. Now this yard is notorious for having a horrible nail bed because it's been occupied since the early 1800s and here we are 2020. So there's many generations of nails and metal bits all over the place. So it's a tough yard. I'm not expecting a lot, but I'm going to hit the ground and when I get a repeatable signal, I'll bring you guys in and give you a chance to see what I'm finding or not finding and we'll see what the F19 can do that the other machines couldn't. Be a real good test for it. I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, so I'm still here. I've dug a bunch of nails and stuff, and you know how it goes. There's a lot of targets. Sometimes the head of the nail will sound good. Uh, I found a rivet that was really close to what a button would be. So to find anything in this yard is pretty extreme. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you what I just found because it's pretty cool. Not only because the machine found it when the other ones couldn't, but there's some history behind it. Let's check it out. All right, I don't know if you can see that or not. I just dug a button. And that button is an Army World War II service button. Well, for their, one of their regular uniforms anyway. That is killer. So far, the F-19's doing a pretty good job because I've whaled this yard with every machine that I've ever had. When I get back to it, things are starting to get exciting here. It's nice to find stuff that you missed. All right, let's keep going. All right, so I had a nice 54 signal, and I could tell it was tiny because I was barely catching it. And it looks like I missed something else. This is a piece of suspender. Now, it's pretty amazing that I've gone through here so many times, and my other machines just weren't able to grab this stuff, even though it's only half of one. It's still a piece of history, it's still a relic of the past, and because this is my family's property, it most likely belongs to someone along that generation line, which makes it even more awesome. So, we're going to keep going. It's a tough yard, a lot of nail signals, uh, a lot of nail heads ringing up kind of like a button, but we're going to keep going and see what this thing can do. So far, just between the button and this to pull anything out of this yard is incredible. If I find something more, I'll bring you in and show you. All right, so I'm picking through the nail beds and as most of you know, uh, if you started watching this, I'm using the F19, picking at a place where I've dug several times. That's always difficult. So, somebody peeling out. Anyway, I'm going to show you the button that I just got. It's kind of a snap button, not a super old one, but picking it out of this nail bed is insane. So let me flip you around and show you. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. That's a cool little button. On the back side, it's got the little snap piece. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing through a little bit here and show you what the ground sounds like here so you'll understand why I'm getting so impressed with finding stuff here. All right, so as you can see, this yard is full of iron. There's been many generations of this family that have settled on this land. There is tons of nails of all ages, newer, square, hand forged, you name it. So I'm gonna keep working this area. So far I've gotten three good targets out of it, which after hitting it with every machine I've ever owned. Anyway, we're gonna keep on going. If I find something else, I'll, I'll pop you in so you can take a look and see how the F-19's doing against all the other machines I've hit this yard with. So. Let's get to it and have some fun. All right, here we go again. So, 
down here in the side yard near the barn and it looks like we found something that we missed last time. Let's turn around and take a look. Alright. There we go. Looks like we got a piece of suspender. Pretty cool. Definitely awesome. Alright, we're going to keep working. Picking here, picking there, and we're finding stuff that was missed. Awesome. Well, okay, I'm about ready to call it a day. I'll show you the few things that I did find. I did find four good things here. Uh, it's a pretty tough site. A lot of nails, a lot of junk. So we'll spin you around and show you what I dug. Okay, so first, we cut this really cool World War II button. Very cool. Next we get a little tiny snap button. Awesome. Suspender piece. And a garter piece. What's left of it? The top's broken off, but still cool. For a pounded sight, I would say the F-19 definitely did its job. Uh, so far I'm pretty impressed to found stuff that my AT Gold couldn't find because that thing is a bloodhound in the iron, so Looks like this might be a game changer. I might have to go back to some other spots and do some more tests, but so far Pretty underrated machine a lot of people figure. Oh, well, it was out a few years ago. There's new technology It's just a dust collector, but it showed me today. It can still find stuff even tough stuff to find so, hope you all have a good day, and we'll see you next time.